Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a flip through and talk through of my 2023 Hobonichi Weeks Mega Sneaker for Work as well as all of the supplies that I have lined up for um, my work planner. So if you're interested in seeing that and hearing about some of my favorite supplies and also interested in a little giveaway for the very first time on my channel, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into it, I did want to take Sorry, that's my dog breaking into my office. <laughs> I did want to take one quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my video today. As always, I very much appreciate it and would appreciate it if you enjoy this video, if you let me know by giving it a thumbs up and making sure you're subscribed. So I will also disclose that this video might be somewhat repetitive to some of the other videos that I've done where I talk about my favorite supplies, but the great thing about this video is that um, it's been about a year since I did like my planner supplies for work. So I've accumulated some new supplies here and this will be somewhat of an all-inclusive so you can see what I throw in my Delphonics pouch on my way to work, if that makes sense. So before I get right into it, I am an engineer. So this is my version of a logbook uh, where I take notes every day and also needed something to write down all of my meetings and things and bring with me to conferences. So that's what I use this Hobonichi Weeks Mega Sneaker for work for. The giveaway that I will be doing later is just some items that I have actually created myself. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't seem like much, but I work really hard to make my own stickers for my planners and some, and some inserts. So I'd love to share that with you all and uh, one of these paper clips if you're interested uh, I will I guess talk about the I guess details of that later on in this video all right so the first thing I want to do is set aside some of these favorite supplies and talk mainly about the actual planner itself and do that flip through so this is my grid washi tape that I like to use as a reference um, I like to block off certain areas when I'm highlighting sometimes for more accuracy so I have my Hobonichi Weeks mega sneaker uh, for work in this naughty cover it is from Hobonichi I think it hovers around $60 on Amazon and I do have that in my Amazon storefront that I just set up to try to make it a little bit more easy for you guys to um, access some of the items that I recommend and a little bit more organized so if you're interested in seeing that i will leave a link to that in the description box down below all right so i love this cover i actually love it more than the tweed cover that i got for my hobonichi weeks um, everyday carry that was like twice the price of this one so i should tell you something i think it's a full leather so it's not actually a leather i got the hobonichi weeks mega sneaker uh, for 2023 in this navy blue color if you're interested, this is actually cheaper typically than the regular Hobonichi Weeks hardcover. Um, it comes with more pages and um, it doesn't. It has a soft cover and doesn't have an overhang here. I will probably do a separate video on comparing the two if you're interested, but this is in the English version. All right. So I went super minimal because this is for work. It has to look professional. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> in the spirit i don't know if you can see her but i think she loves that Oop, look there you go can you see her paws yeah you can <laughs> i think she likes to um oh hi you want to be in the video yeah um but anyways she likes to kind of uh, come in and say hi to you all every now and then so i'll try to include some footage of her really, are you saying hi to everyone yes <laughs> yeah you're saying hi <laughs> Alrighty, sorry for that. Uh, love my pupper. She's so cute. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I tried to keep it super minimal because it does need to look professional. Um, I think the cover definitely adds to it as well as my very favorite Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen with the EF nib. I always have it paired with my Deatramentus Archive ink in black. Um, so there's really not too much to that at all. So I actually tried to put a sticker on the front and realized that the sticker that the die cut that I chose was not on a white backing. It was clear. So it wasn't sticking out. So I ended up putting it on the inside. Inside in the front, I have my urban blotting paper that I cut down to size, as well as the Hobonichi um, writing board, one of them. <laughs> And I have this little fox die cut that I got from the Sticky Club this past couple months in the cute pack subscription. I think it was like fox themed. And then of course inside I have a sticker that was hand created and also um, 
I guess she 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 used to sell stickers and stationery items on Etsy by my dear friend Carly and it says soul and it has this beautiful sun I'll take it out so you can see I actually wanted to put it on the cover I haven't yet because then I can't use the sticker again um, but if you can see she had it um, created with like this glitter so it's like multi-layered so cool I really don't know how she did it but she's so talented I love the design she had one that said Luna and one that said soul I chose this one I thought it went very well with like the burnt orange vibes that I've been <laughs> really enjoying as well as um, the theme of sunshine and so part of this I guess how do I without, so this a few months ago I had my husband pick up a pendant for me um, that there's a long story to it but I had him engrave Apricus on the back of it and for me it's Latin and translates to full of sunshine um, I'm sure it can translate to multiple things when I did the research <laughs> um, but anyways that's what it means to me and I got that engraved with Apricus to remind me that my goal um, and I think will be the theme of 2023 for me is to be full of sunshine so during dark times and difficult times my goal is to remember uh, to remain positive and try to be grateful for the things that we do have um, and try to spread that sunshine to others I think it can be contagious and that's what I'm hopeful for so although I'm going to different difficult times I guess at work right now um, it's important to remain humble and grateful and hope for the best because it, the worst thing I think anyone can ever do is to be super negative and pass that on to others so that's the last thing I want to do so this is a nice reminder of that it reminds me all the time of my dear friend Carly which I absolutely love and how talented she is um, and then right behind it is actually one of the first giveaways that or one of the first things that I wanted to include in my giveaway doesn't seem like much um, but what I did was I chose in preparing for 2023 because i have four different planners this year i like to prepare and create stickers um, for the holidays that are important to me so what i did was i took i made those <laughs> stickers as you can see here um, on my cricut machine on this like matte clear sticker sheet cut it out on my cricut machine uh, printed on my laser jet and this is also one of the items that i will be including um, and I'll show you how I used it here. I basically took the most important holidays, uh, repeated some of them because it starts in December and then ends beyond. Um, so based on my needs and picked sorry, picked a font, I think through um, the Access, Cricut Access subscription and just as simply as possible, I am going definitely to try to do a instructional video. Um, I think I've let, in this case, perfection be my enemy of getting it out so I haven't gotten a instructional video out for a year but hopefully I will put something together to make it super simple for you all that is the goal so this is in another item that I want to include the other item is I took those holidays and I looked them up online and found the exact date that they fall on and fell on or will fall on sorry and um, highlighted the ones that were related to days that I have off for work so the blue are like the federal holidays and then in black are or some other items like New Year's Eve. I don't technically get off for that. Um, Valentine's Day and things like that. So I printed it out on cardstock. So this one's just like, honestly, kind of like a business card that can just slip in here. What I love about this is that I can pull it out when I need it and then use it to reference my spreads um, and then put it back in there. So that's what I have there. Um, I didn't do anything here on this first page and flipping right into this year at a glance, um, both for the last year, next year, and this year. I'll be really honest, I don't typically use this right side here, but I really don't feel a need to cover it up with anything um, because there's so many note pages and things, and going for that minimal approach left it alone. The first thing I did was actually take my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker, this one here, um, in my favorite supplies, <laughs> in this fawn color and use the dot n to highlight the federal holidays that i would be off because it doesn't always fall on the holidays down here um, so for example i think for new year's day is on a sunday so we get the monday afterwards off so you'll see that i just highlighted that here this gives me a better idea and a reference point for me throughout the year to figure out what days i'll be off so that's what i have um these 
third item, I guess, that I will be giving away as part of the, it doesn't seem like much, but um, it did take me actually quite a bit of time, embarrassingly. Uh, I will be giving away this sticker here that hopefully will fit pretty well in your Hobonichi weeks. I tried to do it so that it's sized appropriately. Um, I actually did this. I would recommend doing this on Word because I did it on Silhouette Studio and it was quite the pain and very laggy. <laughs> so if you don't, um, get, I guess, get the freebie giveaway, you can just easily go on Word and put in the holidays that pertain to you um, and print it out on sticker paper and then cut it up and stick it right in. So that's what I have here. This will be the third of four items that I'll be including. I'm also trying to keep it pretty small, the giveaway, so that I can fit it in an envelope and make it kind of like Happy Mail. If it goes pretty well, because um, this is my first time doing it, I hope to, I guess, do this again in the future or maybe do more each time so that more folks are included. I actually just don't know how many people are interested. All right. So moving on um, for this spread here, I absolutely love this spread. This is my favorite spread, I think, in the Hobonichi weeks. Um, however, unfortunately, I'm actually not really sure how to use this for work. Um, so if you have any suggestions, I am definitely open to it. I use this in my personal planner um, for birthdays and what I plan on doing in 2023 is not only using it for birthdays but this top section for major bills so for example if my water bill is quarterly I'll go to the month that it's due and put it in every month and like the day of the month that it's due relatively or that I typically pay it just to kind of flag in my mind that I need it because I'm pretty good in using I've trained myself to reference this uh, future log I guess I think it's called the future log um, spread when setting up my monthlies and then my monthlies to set up my weeklies so I don't know how to use this for work um, all right so going to the next one what I might do are like deadlines I know we have like quarterly reports and things so I might include that up top but for this portion down here not really sure what to do <laughs> All right, so going into the monthly is this is where the stickers really came into play. So I do want to share this with y'all. I'm going to do a quick zoom in here uh, where you can see that they are clear matte stickers that were printed on my laser jet printer. Um, yeah, so I already have all the supplies and I like the flexibility of making my own printer stickers because what it allows me to do is to... Um, I guess decide what holidays are important to me. So I'll share this with you all. Um, obviously, I have a lot of birthday stickers here because um, I want to take up space. I didn't want to waste it. And uh, you'll kind of understand because if you think about it, it's an 8.5 by 11 sticker sheet. So there was actually a lot of waste when I printed these, but I was kind of in a rush because um, with grad school and everything, I have so much homework and housework and things um, piling up that I have to tend to that I... Uh, just kind of just went with it. <laughs> so there was a lot of wasted sheets. And you'll also notice that um, the Cricut uh, is it Design Studio, Design Space, um, the C Cricut software has like this border that you have to include. So it takes away also and leads to a lot of waste as well because it creates like a larger margin than an inch most of the time. Because if you, if you don't get it to the right size within whatever the allowable limits are, um, they tell you that the file is incompatible with your machine. Um, so anyways, long story short, uh, this is the one of the items I'll be including. I worked really hard on them and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so I went in here and basically took those stickers, used my Cricut um, tweezers here to lay them down. One trick I will like recommend while we're here <laughs> for anyone who does end up getting these or making them themselves. I like to take these up and then placing them on my finger to kind of take some of the sticky adhesive off so that when I place it down if I need to readjust it and peel it back up it doesn't rip my paper. I tried to do that here with this guy. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it, I did end up working the page. So I went in and using this reference um, sheet here, this reference card, I placed all of the holiday stickers down for the year, including December of 2022, and I think even into January of 24, uh, maybe not. But yeah, so that's what I did. The next thing I did was just added these um, awesome index clips that I picked up last year 
in this brass color and put them in for the first week that I plan on switching over to this Hope New Two Weeks Mega Sneaker from 2022. And then I put another one here in the note section. I actually very heavily use this note section uh, for daily notes, so I often would run out of space here. So um, there's going to be some adjustments that I make in 2023 in addition to the fact that this is an English planner as opposed to the Japanese one last year. I accumulated some new supplies. One of the major ones is this 2023 weekly supplement that I plan on using to mimic my Outlook calendars um, as opposed to last year where I had to create this spread uh, in this orientation here in a more condensed version. So I plan on actually doing it in here and freeing up some of this space. One thing that I struggled with last year, similar to my personal planner, which I'll share with you because it has information that I share with you guys often. I'm trying to hide. Um, so similar to my personal planner, I would split this up into two separate columns on the left where I would put the major events on the left for the day and then five task check boxes here on the right using my Hobonichi basic stencil. Um, so I will be doing that again probably this year, but what I ran into a problem with was that related to work, um, luckily, <laughs> I do more than five major tasks typically in a day, um, so I would run out of space. What I might do now that I've freed up this right side is extend the lines over and then maybe um, do at least 10 if not 15 task check boxes or maybe I'll do 10 on this side and then use this side for notes. I'm not really sure. I prefer using the right side of the page for notes because it's gridded, um, so we'll kind of see from there. Definitely a lot of flexibility, now I have more space. Um, and then going back to this note section here, what I like to do is to actually take this Midori, the, my recent add to the family, Midori um, stamp here that has the days of the week. I just stamp Monday and then I'll put like 11.22 uh, or whatever it may be to mark just the date and then I use a like the old bullet journaling method um, for like a dot to, and then like an indent and things like that. I don't know like different symbols that I follow very, to keep it super minimal and consistent um, so it's very easy for me to look through my notes and see what I did in any given day. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. In the back here uh, is typically where I put my credit card, my ID card, business cards and things. Um, I also have my Hobonichi Basic Stencil and of course my trusty Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen in the EF note. So that's what I have lined up for 2023 for my Hobonichi Weeks Mega Sneaker for Work. I will quickly try to go over some of these supplies that I didn't cover. Um, before we get into that, I did want to, I guess, talk a little bit more about this giveaway. So the giveaway that I envisioned, first time doing it, so hopefully it goes well. I was hoping that if you um, could, I think, for the most part, uh, the people that engage the most are already subscribed, but if you're not, if you can just subscribe, um, that would be so great. And if you can also head over to my Instagram account that I'm trying to build out in 2023, um, that would be great as well. It's Eternal Flame by Katie, K-A-T-I-E, so I will link that in the description box down below. So just make sure you're following there, and if you can leave me a comment in the <laughs> comment section down below, I didn't actually think this out, uh, about which paper clip you like the most out of these um, to tell you a little story they actually mean a lot to me and um, because I well when they're lots of fun and I collect lots of stationery but I just recently went to Berlin and while there I bought these little fun paper clips um, they're called Ampelmann and basically uh, what I love about these so I used to be a traffic engineer <laughs> and back in some many years ago I used to be a traffic engineer and I used to design traffic signals, um, less so the actual light itself and more like the timing and things. Um, but uh, so I kind of dorked out when I went to Berlin and they had these super special traffic symbols on their crossing, or I call them pet heads, um, pedestrian signal crossings. Um, so in, as opposed to in the US where you have that little white light that looks like he's walking or um, the red one that says like not to walk. <laughs> they had these instead, not the little girl. I think this was just like a recent add-on, but in Berlin, they apparently have the option to pick between like the fun one or the not so fun stick figures. So some of them have top hats, which I thought was so cute. Um, so that's what we have here. So if you enjoy the little 
little bear that I picked up from Miniso in Flushing. That's an option as well. Um, honestly, if I can fit them all in the envelope without it being overweight, I'll probably do one of each. But um, for the giveaway, please make sure that you're subscribed on YouTube, you're following on Instagram, and then you comment down below which one is your favorite paper clip. All right. So we'll kind of do something like that and probably do something random after that and see how well it goes. Hopefully it'll lead to more in the future. So I'm going to set these aside because I've already talked about these. Um, if I haven't talked about, I think I've mentioned this already, this grid washi tape I picked up off Amazon. I just like to use it for um, straight lines, like highlighting straight lines a lot of times, especially with my Outlook calendar. Um, so that's what this is for. And yeah, uh, I also have my Cricut tweezers that we just went over. I like to use for stickers and then a whole slew of things here. So I will talk about my other favorite fountain pen is this Sailor fountain pen I picked up off Amazon. Actually, my husband got it for me. I think it's just like this most beautiful cream and gold color here. I think it's just so classy. It's very lightweight. I love how balanced it is. I have it paired with Caveco uh, Sunshine Orange. Um, fountain pen ink so I mean that's just so so appropriate for the fact that my theme for 2023 is Abricus full of sunshine. Um, I have my very favorite three very favorite Tombow dual brush pens. Um, I talk about these all the time 192 and 75 and a two, oh, 942. <laughs> you would think I know by now but you can see how much I love these um, pens by how worn they are but they've lasted me forever these are my absolute favorite i think they're nice and neutral and going with that neutral theme i also have two relatively neutral troll zig clean color dot markers in fawn and platinum that i use all the time i used to use this one to create clouds but now i have this midori stamp so i don't need to do that anymore but if i choose to i have it um tracking the weather is something i like to do for my work planner as well Oh, excuse you, Blair. <laughs> Bless you. Um, and then also the most recent add to my family are these, um, sorry, these Zebra Mild Liner Highlighters in neutral tones that I picked up off Amazon. I absolutely love these. They're dual tip. There's a fine end, which I like to use for vertical lines, um, paired with my Raymay Ray roller, which I actually don't have an arm's length. It's very important. That's one definite necessity for me. Hi, Bailey. Um, I have my Tombow plastic eraser, mono in black. Um, I did a long, had a long discussion about why I choose black because it, it kind of grosses me out when, oops, excuse me, <laughs> when it's white. I have these bullnose clips that I actually picked up for my grid, my wall grid uh, from Amazon. I have the Zebra in 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. My newer Pentel Energel Klena pen here in 0.33. 3.38. Um, the my Pigma Micron in 005. I love this one. It sets so easily. I also wrote my go-to jet stream, uni jet stream in 0.38. So important. And of course, uh, my <laughs> very favorite Tombow calligraphy pen in the hard tip for Nunesuke. Alrighty, so that's basically it um, for that lineup. Like I said, if you're interested and you'd like to enter for some freebies, uh, some happy mail around the holiday for your planner setup, please feel free to subscribe, follow on Instagram at Eternal Flame by Katie. Uh, if you want to, not related, you can go check out my Amazon shop for any of these supplies that I can find. Um, it is amazon.com slash shop slash eternal flame. And as always, I very much appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye everyone.